Hi guys and thanks for joining in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an interactive image map using Illustrator, Elementor and Unlimited Elements. So I've downloaded this free vector file from online and it's just a simple vector file of a map but I want when people are going to hover over each part for the fill color to change and I also want each part of this to go to a different link so actually linking this can happen from within the illustrator so I'm just gonna hover over one of these parts in attributes uh, you can open this by going to window attributes if it's not already open and we can select over here image map rectangle and fill in the URL that we want this to go to. We can also uh, put a temporary URL and change it for later. Cool, so that's how we link from within Illustrator. Next thing I want uh, the artboard bounds to be the exact size of the illustration. So in document setup, I'm going to edit artboards and in preset fit to artboard bounce this just cropped it to be the exact size it should be and I'm going to save this as a SVG on the desktop and I'm gonna call it map next step inside of Dreamweaver I'm going to open it and look at the code great next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the CSS over here and I'm going to add a hover state where the fill will be a different color we don't need the stroke color or the width to change so I'm going to take those off and I'm going to round the stroke width to 3 Perfect. Next thing I'm going to do is in Google Chrome, open, let's try to open the file to check if it's working. So perfect, that's what we wanted, an interactive map. And you can see here on the bottom that it's showing the links that we selected. Perfect next part is to put this inside of WordPress so I have unlimited elements installed and I'm in the category I want I clicked add widget and I'm gonna call this new widget map double click inside and in the HTML part we're going to copy our HTML from WordPress so we want only this SVG part and I'm gonna save that perfect and to test this we're going into pages add new edit with Elementor And I'm going to search for my widget I just created. Let's drag and drop that inside. And it's working. Perfect. Now we do want the user to have an option to edit our links. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some attributes. Edit widget HTML. I'm going to call this link one and we can choose over here a new field we have that's called link we just added this and the default value is going to be empty and inside the HTML we need to find 
where this link is. So for example, let's go for this one. I'm going to replace the Facebook link with the link we just created to be dynamic. Click update to save. Over here we're going to also save by clicking publish. This we can close. Let's refresh. Click on the map. And as you can see, now we have a, an option to use this link. We can even use dynamic and find this, one of the post URLs and stuff like that. So that's how we do it. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining.